everyone. You're watching RTT News. I'm Sarah Kajumko, and here's your afternoon political update for Wednesday, May 26. Some are calling it Obama's Katrina as frustration grows with the administration's response to BP's massive oil spill. The White House has been facing a lot of backlash as to why the leak has not been plugged yet. Meanwhile, Louisiana Governor Bobby Jindal and Republicans are asking for more federal aid just as BP prepares for another attempt to block the spill using mud and cement. The Korean Peninsula has been in focus ever since the South accused its neighbor of blowing up one of its warships. South Korea has pulled in support from Western countries, getting strong backing from the United States. It also cut ties with the North, threatened UN sanctions and blocked critical waterways. Meanwhile, North Korea says it's preparing its troops for a confrontation. Also overseas, ministers in Iraq decided to dissolve Iraqi airways after a bitter legal battle with Kuwait. Kuwaitis say that Iraq officials took several planes during an invasion in 1990 and have been since using them for their own profit. The decision comes just a month after Iraqi Airways took its first commercial flight in more than two decades. And at least 29 people died in Jamaica as authorities fought with gang members in a bloody shootout. Police have been trying to capture a drug trafficker who was also wanted in the states. Most of those that died were civilians. There's your afternoon political roundup for Wednesday, May 26. I'm Sarah Kajumko. Stay logged on to rttnews.com for more news updates throughout the day.